Hey folks, welcome to Top 5. Man, I need to get these on a regular schedule. Anyway, today I'm going to take a look at the fun country, Darien Lake. Darien Lake has gone through many management changes, corporate changes, family changes, and, well, just a bunch of shenanigans overall and hijinks and overall internal and external wackiness, both positive and negative. As with many of these parks, I have been to this park. I first went in 2004 during the winter, or during, not during the winter, during the fall, and I again went in 2013 during the summer. By the way, I was able to get to Darien Lake, Martin's Fantasy Island, and Seabreeze in one day. It also didn't hurt that the hotel was like a mile from the airport. Anyway, so... In this one, I'm going to talk about how we can put a little fun back in the fun country. And, yeah, I'll probably use that joke a lot because I'm uncreative. Number five. Let's get the ad nauseum out of the way. Yeah, you knew I was going to probably mention this one. They need new trains on three of their coasters. Mind Eraser, Viper, and Boomerang. Viper and Boomerang can easily get the Vacoma soft strap style restraints, and Mind Eraser should get the soft style vest, uh, so SLC suspended looping coaster inverted restraints. Even though I'm not a huge fan of these, they are better than the head banging that you get on Mind Eraser. I would also like to see both Boomerang and their Ride of Steel. To maybe get a rename of some kind. And I also think Mind Eraser, Boomerang, and Ride of Steel could all use repaints. Ride of Steel is, was added in 1999 and it was originally called Superman Ride of Steel. So it was red and blue. Since then, or since the park was sold in around 2007, it has just been named Ride of Steel but it still has the red and blue paint on it. So I'd like to see a new paint job added. I don't know, green, orange, purple, yellow, just some kind of unique color to show that it's a different management, it's a different park. It might even confuse people into thinking it might be a new coaster. Oh, while we're on the subject, um, honorable mention, uh, Darien Lake, by new, by buy a second or third train for some of these coasters. Ride of Steel is your biggest ride. It shouldn't only use one train. It should use two trains. I understand there are budget cuts, but seriously, you have to cut there. So, yeah. Now that that's out of the way. Number four, a hotel with an indoor water park. This was planned during the park management era from 2007 till probably about 2010 or so. So what I would like to see Darien Lake, I believe it's called the Lodge at the Lake or the Darien Lake Hotel, something like that. I would like to see them add an indoor water park with a wave pool, lazy river, flow rider, some slides, and a family water play area. This will not only most likely increase stays at the water par at the hotel, but you could also probably charge more for the hotel, and you would also probably get more business during the off season. So basically, from November until March or April, somewhere around there. Because I'm not familiar with the area, but I'm guessing there's not a whole lot to do, especially during the November to January time, and. Chances are you're leaving a lot of money on the table, so to speak. Number three. I think they need a new coaster. It's been several years since uh, since the Moto coaster was added, which was nine, almost ten years, which was nine, almost ten years ago. And before then, it had been significantly long since uh their previous coaster ride of steel was since their previous coaster ride of steel was added so you've got a gap from so you got 99 2008 question mark i think the park can should add another major coaster if nothing else just to get it back on the market of some kind so uh i could suggest uh the 
potential gravity group Rocky Mountain revamp of Predator into the Lake Monster by adding a by adding a spiral and making it much more intense and more unique. Um, I would go with that, or I would go with one of the Zamperla Thunderbolt models. The park is far enough away from Luna Park that most people have not probably been on that, and at 120 feet with four inversions at about $10, $10.5 million, uh, it would probably make a unique and wonderful uh, investment to the park. Also, uh, with a 90 degree drop, it would also be an easily marketable attraction as there's nothing like that in the area. Number two, a water park expansion. I'm not familiar with how crowded the Darien Lake water park is, so I'm probably talking out of my butt here as I am with most of these additions. But I would like to see them expand their water park. Chances are the water park is very crowded and could probably use a lot more slides and attractions. Darien Lake used to be famous for having tons of slides and attractions. They've since gotten rid of a lot of them. So I would like to see some more attractions added to the water park. Or maybe it was Splash Town at Darien Lake. Maybe that was the name of it. Sorry. It'll be corrected and Darien Lake fanboys, I apologize. I would like to see maybe a rocket slide added. I would like to see some more body slides added. I'd like to see some more tube slides added. And overall just, and maybe even a lagoon pool. Just a bunch of stuff, and maybe even another kids or family water play area. Something to make the water park more of a full day experience. There's probably, there's picnic groves on one side, but I'm sure they can be easily relocated. The, park, the resort is on like 1,400 acres. You can find room for a 10 acre picnic grove, or you can put it somewhere else. So, yeah, a water park expansion for number two. for number two. And finally, my number one idea, I would like to take, I would like for them to take that Galaxy Theater, which has pretty much been abandoned, so much so it's not even on the park maps anymore, and I would like to see them add a Sally Interactive Dark Ride. Do something with it. I'm not sure what you could theme it to. I'm not sure how. Wh I'm not sure exactly how or what you would theme it. You obviously couldn't use DC. You couldn't use the Justice League or something. But here's an idea. You had a bit of a hit, at least internet and nerd wise, with Moose on the Loose. So why not do another type of Moose on the Loose theme or something? Maybe an attraction where you're. No, not where you're hunting moose. Maybe something where you're out in the wilderness with, or you're out in the snow with moose, and you're trying to, like, you're trying to shoot at snowmen or something. Or maybe, or some something like that. Just a nice family, a nice family attraction is something I think the park needs, and something I think would work wonders for the property. So, that's my top five for Darien Lake. What park should I review? Should I do a top five for next? Hello, Coaster Cat. Well, uh, who are you? I am the ghost of Theme Park's past. Um, okay. Why are you here? I'm a fan of your channel. Ding! And I think you should review a park that's closed. But I only do parks that are open. I know, I know, I know. That's why I'm taking you in the past, so you can review it. This sounds really similar to Nostalgia Critic when he talked about the room. Okay, okay, I know. But you can't do dual audio of you as you and you as Doc Brown. Uh, okay, uh, where are you going to take me to? Ooh, <laughs> Riverview Park in Chicago? No. Chicago Lake in Ohio? No. Then where? Come with me in my car that goes 87.9 miles per hour. I did that to avoid copyright claims. Well, see you next time with a park that I guess I need a time machine for. Bye, Coaster Cat.